If you want to measure the amount of liquid in like an Eppendorf tube, you can do this with a micropipette. Start by estimating how much liquid is in the tube based on the approximation lines or how much you think should be in there based on your calculations. Now what you want to do is you want to first give, your, give it a quick spin so all the liquid collects to the bottom and you're not sucking up any air. And now take an appropriate size pipette that's able to hold the volume that you think is in here and set the volume to slightly below the volume that you think is in there. So it looks like there's about 100 microliters in here based on that little approximation line. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my pipette to 90 microliters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up or aspirate that 90 microliters and you can see that there's still stuff left in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start turning the dial to the left, sucking up the liquid until the last drop of liquid is right at the bottom. So I don't want to suck up any air um, and I want the last drop of liquid to be right at the bottom, kind of like that. And now I look and I see I have 119 microliters in here. Say I overshot it and I pulled up a little air or if I overestimated and so I pulled up air in the beginning. Now what you can do is you can just actually turn to the right and push that air out. I like to do this with the tip against the bottom of the tube so that when the last of the liquid comes out, you're not going to then like introduce bubbles if you have to pull it back up. So I go right until the very end um, and then you can get the volume that way.